Boxing Program is sponsored by the Republican National Committee, the Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee, and the Republican Congressional Committee. You are about to hear a report from Senator Richard Nixon, nominee for the office of Vice President of the United States. The senator has interrupted his nationwide campaign tour to be with you tonight for this important message. A man down in Texas heard Pat in the radio mention the fact that our two youngsters would like to have a dog. And believe it or not, the day before we left on this campaign trip, we got a message from the Union Station in Baltimore saying they had a package for us. We went down to get it. You know what it was? It was a little Cocker Spaniel dog in a crate that he'd sent all the way from Texas. Black and white, spotted. And our little girl, Trisha, the six-year-old, named it Chicken. And you know, the kids, like all kids, love the dog. And I just want to say this right now, that regardless of what they say about it, we're going to keep it. Because, folks, remember, a man that's to be president of the United States, a man that's to be vice president of the United States, must have the confidence of all the people. Well, they just don't know who they're dealing with. I'm going to tell you this. Why do I feel so deeply? Why do I feel that in spite of the smears, the misunderstanding, the necessity for a man to come up here and bear his soul as I have, why is it necessary for me to continue this fight? I want to tell you why. Because you see, I love my country. And I think my country is in danger. And I think the only man that can save America at this time is the man that's running for president on my ticket, Dwight Eisenhower. You say, why do I think it's in danger? And I say, look at the record. Seven years of the truman Atchison administration and what's happened. 600 million people lost to the communists. And a war in Korea in which we have lost 117,000 American casualties. And I say to all of you, that a policy that results in the loss of 600 million people to the communists and a war which costs us 117,000 American casualties isn't good enough for America. And I say that those in the State Department that made the mistakes which caused that war and which resulted in those losses should be kicked out of the State Department just as fast as we get them out of it. And so I say, Eisenhower, who owes nothing to Truman, nothing to the big city bosses, he is the man that can clean up the mess in Washington. And the vote for Eisenhower is a vote for what's good for America. Republicans and the Republican Congressional Committee. 